hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening depending on the part of the world where you are today welcome to day 31 of the redeemed christian church of god fasting and prayer for the year 2024 the lord has been faithful taking us from day one till day 31 he is worthy to be praised and i pray he will answer every of our prayers and petitions that we have brought to his presence throughout this season of fasting and prayer in jesus name amen Today, we are praying against evil marks on our body, on our life, upon the life of our loved ones. And we trust that the blood of Jesus shall cleanse us from such marks in Jesus' name. Amen. The first mark was placed by God on a man. And that was when God placed the mark upon Cain for what he did to his brother. And it was to enable him to serve the punishment of being a fugitive successfully for killing his brother Abel. The Lord put the mark upon him so that he will be wandering around. But no one will be able to kill him. Because when they see the mark upon him, they will see that this one is intentionally preserved by God to face his punishment. Marks can either be positive or negative. So you can either have a positive mark upon you that is singling you out for favor, for blessing. Or you can have an evil mark upon you that is separating you for being punished wherever you go. That is why even if you leave your own country and go elsewhere, the same problem, the same challenges you have in your own country will be where you are because of the mark you have on your body. Amen. Also, marks can either be visible or invisible. Many times it is invisible. So the man or woman might not know the source of their problem or might not know the reason why they are disqualified even when they feel they are qualified for a job, a post, or even a promotion. We need to pray to the Lord to eradicate the effect of evil marks in our lives, either visible or non-visible, either inherited or acquired. Whatever kind of evil marks in our body, we are trusting the Lord that it shall be removed by his mercy in Jesus' name. In Genesis 4.15, the Bible says, And the Lord said to him, this is Cain, Therefore, whoever kills Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark on Cain, lest anyone finding him should kill him. Many of us have done some things that the Lord does not want. And this has opened us up to attacks of the enemy. This has opened up portals in our life for the enemy to afflict us. I pray the Lord will show us mercy today, even as we come to him in true repentance and cleanse us from every evil mark tormenting us in Jesus' name. In the book of Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4 to 6, the Bible says, And the Lord said to him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and put a mark on the forehead of the men who sigh and cry over all the abominations that are done within it. To the others he said in my hearing, Go after him through the city and kill. Do not let your eyes spare, nor have any pity. Utterly slay old and young men, maidens and little children and women, but do not come near anyone on whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. So they began with the elders who were before the temple. You can see, God made a demarcation between those that had the mark, the mark of exemption, the mark of life, and those that do not have the mark. Just like he did in the book of Exodus. He told Moses, tell my people to kill a lamb and put the blood upon their doorposts and their lintel. And when the angels see the blood, it will pass over them. So when we have the mark of the blood upon us, when we have the mark of Jesus upon us, evil will bypass us. And that is why it is very, very important for us to check our life. Are we still in the camp of the Lord or have we deflected into the camp of the enemy? I pray the Lord will open our eyes today in Jesus' name. Psalms 105 verse 14 to 15 reads, He permitted no one to do them wrong. Yes, he rebuked kings for their sake, saying, Do not touch my anointed ones and do my prophet no harm. So when you have the mark of the Lord, when you have the anointing of the Lord upon us, it exempts us from harm. It exempts us from shame. It exempts us from what the general population might be going through. Galatians 6.17 says, From now on, let no one trouble me. Why? For I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus Christ. So my dear listener today, do you have the mark of the Lord Jesus upon you? Or you have the mark of the devil upon you? 
if you are still living in sin, if you are living a life of ungodliness, if you are living a life of disobedience to the Lord, you are definitely in the camp of the enemy and you have his mark upon you. If you want to leave the gathering of the kingdom of darkness and come into the kingdom of the Lord, all you have to do is accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Because even if you pray today without accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior, there is no way the mark can be removed because the devil has a legal ground over your life. I pray the Lord will help us to take the bold step to come to Jesus today in Jesus' name. If you have decided you want to live the life of darkness and come to the light and come to the kingdom of Jesus, I want you to pray this prayer with me, Father, in Jesus' name. Thank you for the opportunity to come to your presence once again. Thank you, Lord, for giving me the grace to come to your feet as a son and a daughter today. Father, I confess every of my sins and I say, Father, I am a sinner. I have repented of my sin and I'm coming to you today. Accept me by your mercy in Jesus' name. Father, cleanse me from every of my sin in Jesus' name and help me to live a life that is pleasing unto you. I accept you, Jesus, as my Lord and Savior. I accept that you died for me on the cross of Calvary and that you have cleansed me from every of my sin. I accept the gift of life that you have given unto me. And I pray that from today, I'll begin to live a life that is pleasing unto you and not unto myself. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you are welcome to the kingdom of Jesus Christ. And now you can remove every evil mask from you and begin to put on the mask and the robe of Jesus. And I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Let us enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. Let's say, Father, we thank you. We bless your name for you are a faithful God. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. Father, we say there is none like you. You are faithful, O Lord. You are faithful, O Lord. Every day and every hour, you are faithful, O Lord. You are mighty, O Lord. You are mighty, O Lord. Every day and every hour, you are mighty, O Lord. You are gracious, O Lord. You are gracious, O Lord. Every day and every hour, you are gracious, O Lord. Great are you, Lord. Greatly to be praised. Greatly to be praised. Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. Greatly to be praised. Greatly to be praised. Father, you reign. Father, we worship you. We give you the glory, the honor, the adoration. Be thou lifted high. Be thou exalted. For in Jesus' name we've worshipped. We're going to thank the Lord for his mercy over our lives. The Bible says in Romans 9.15, For he says to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whomever I will have compassion on. Let's say, Father, thank you for choosing us to have mercy on. Thank you for your mercy upon our life. Thank you for your mercy upon our family. Thank you for your mercy upon our children. Thank you for your mercy upon our own. Thank you for your mercy when we go out. Thank you for your mercy when we come in. Thank you for your mercy that is speaking for us when we are sleeping, when we are awake. Thank you, Jesus, for guiding our step in the path of life. Oh, Lord, we bless your name. We give you the glory, the honor, the adoration. We say you are worthy to be praised. You are wonderful. You are faithful. You are glorious. You are beautiful. You are unchanging. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of Lord, our Father and our King, we thank you for the grace to come to your presence once again, for the grace of adoption. Oh, we bless you. Thank you, Lord, for your saving grace. Thank you, Lord, for your sustaining grace. Thank you, Lord, for your abiding grace upon our life. Oh, Jesus, we bless your name. Oh, Jesus, we lift your name on high. We say there is none like you. Adonai, we worship you. Adonai. Adonai, we worship you. Adonai, 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 we worship you. Adonai, 
Father, we thank you. We worship you. We glorify your majesty. You are wonderful. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. One of the things that can open the doors, that can make us to have an evil mark upon our life is rebellion. And what is rebellion? In the book of Isaiah 30 verse 1, the Bible says, Woe to the rebellious children, says the Lord, who take counsel, but not of me, and who devise plans, but not of my spirit, that they might add sin to sin. So a rebellious man or woman is anyone that is disobedient to the Lord, is anyone that does not follow the instruction of the Lord for him or for her. In the book of 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 23, the Bible says, For rebellion is as serious as a sin of divination or fortune telling. Another version says of witchcraft and disobedience is as serious as false religion and idolatry. Because you have rejected the word of the Lord, he also has rejected you as king. And this was when prophet Samuel was talking to King Saul when he disobeyed the specific instruction of the Lord. Another version says, rebellion against God or disobeying him because you are proud is just as bad as worshipping idols or asking them for advice. You refuse to do what God told you. So God has decided that you can no longer be king. So rebellion means when we are disobedient to the word of the Lord, when we don't follow his instruction, when we intentionally do what is our will against the will of the Lord, we're going to pray, Father, get rid of every aspect of rebellion in my life. In the name of Jesus, Father, every spirit of rebellion in my life, Father, take it away by your mercy. In the name of Jesus, Father, take away every spirit of rebellion in my life. In the name of Jesus, I surrender my life to you, Jesus. I surrender my totality to you. I surrender my heart to you. I surrender my mind to you. I surrender my body to you. Father, take away every spirit of rebellion for my life in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, get rid of every spirit of rebellion for my life today in the name of Jesus. Father, I renounce every spirit of rebellion for my life in the name of Jesus. Father, I renounce every spirit of rebellion for my life in the name of Jesus. And I receive the grace to live a life of obedience. I receive the grace to follow you through and through. I receive the grace to promptly obey you in all I do. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I receive the grace to obey you. I receive the grace to obey you. I receive the grace to do your will. In the name of Jesus, Father, I receive the grace to do your will. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. We're going to pray, Father. I plead the blood of Jesus over my body, spirit, and soul. In the name of Jesus, Father, I plead the blood of Jesus, the blood that cleanses, the blood that removes every evil mark. I plead the blood of Jesus upon my body, spirit, and soul today. In the name of Jesus, oh, I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus upon my husband. I plead the blood of Jesus upon my children, their body, spirit, and soul. I remove every evil mark inherited or acquired upon their life right now. In the name of Jesus, I remove every evil mark upon the life of my children. I remove every evil mark upon the life of my children. In the name of Jesus, I decree, Lord, no evil marks upon my children, no evil marks upon my husband, by your mercy. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. Colossians 2, 14 to 15 says, Having wiped out the handwriting of requirement that was against us, having wiped out the handwriting of evil marks that was against us, the Bible says, which was contrary to us. Evil marks is contrary to us. Evil marks is placed upon a person to limit them. Evil marks is placed upon a person to make them an easy target for the kingdom of darkness. So wherever you go, they know this person is our prey. This person is our prisoner. But the Lord has wiped out such handwriting. The Lord has wiped out every code and his regulation that is standing opposed to us. The Bible says he took it out of the way. He nailed it to the cross. He disarmed principalities and powers and he made public disgrace of them, triumphing them by the cross. We're going to pray. Father, I wipe out every negative marks on my body with the blood of Jesus. I wipe out every negative marks on my body with the blood of Jesus. Every visible and invisible mark of darkness upon my life, I wipe it out today with the blood of Jesus. Every invisible and visible marks of darkness upon my life, upon my children's life, upon my husband's life, Life, I wipe it out with the blood of Jesus. I wipe it out with the blood of Jesus. Every evil marks. 
evil mark of failure, evil mark of trouble, evil mark of stagnancy, evil mark of sickness. I wipe them out today with the blood of Jesus. I wipe every evil mark from my body, spirit, and soul today with the blood of Jesus. Oh, Father, every inherited mark, every inherited evil mark, every acquired evil mark, I wipe them out today with the blood of Jesus. I wipe them out today with the blood of Jesus over my life, over my children, over my husband's life. I wipe it out today with the blood of Jesus. I wipe it out today with the blood of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. We're going to wipe out every mark upon my life that is contrary to your will for my life. Every mark the devil has placed upon my life that is contrary to your purpose for my life. Every mark upon my life that is making me live short of your purpose and plan for me. I wipe it out today with the blood of Jesus. I wipe it out today with the blood of Jesus. I wipe it out today with the blood of Jesus. Your word has said, you have taken it out of the way. You have nailed it to the cross. So every mark of negativity that has been placed upon my life and body, I take it out by the power in the name of Jesus. I nail it to the cross in the name of Jesus. It is nailed to the cross in the name of Jesus. It is nailed to the cross in the name of Jesus. It is nailed to the cross in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. We're going to pray. Father, I plead the blood of Jesus into my foundation in the name of Jesus. Every mark that has come from my foundation, I plead the blood of Jesus into my foundation and I wipe such marks away totally in the name of Jesus, Father. I plead the blood of Jesus into my foundation and I wipe away every evil marks from my foundation in the mighty name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus into my foundation. I plead the blood of Jesus into my foundation in the mighty name of Jesus and I wipe away every evil mark in my foundation in the mighty name of Jesus I wipe away every evil mark in my foundation in the name of Jesus every evil mark in my husband's foundation in my children's foundation I wipe it away with the blood of Jesus I wipe it away with the blood of Jesus I wipe it away with the blood of Jesus I wipe it away with the blood of Jesus in Jesus name we pray we're going to pray father let the blood of Jesus uproot and wash away the source of every evil mark in my life. It is very important we take it away from the source so that it doesn't reoccur even after we've washed it away. We're going to pray Father, let the blood of Jesus uproot and wash away the source of every evil mark in my life and family. In the mighty name of Jesus Father, let your blood uproot and wash away every root of evil marks in my life and family. Oh Lord God Almighty let your blood wash away every evil mark and its source in my life and family in the name of Jesus Father I plead by your mercy oh let your blood uproot and wash away every source of evil mark in my life and my destiny in my life and my family let the blood of Jesus uproot and wash away every source of evil mark in my life in my husband's life in my children's life in our family upon our business and career let the blood of Jesus uproot and wash away Away. Every source of evil mark in our life and family. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, let the blood of Jesus uproot and wash away every source of evil mark. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. We're going to pray, Father. I close every legal entry of the kingdom of darkness into my life. Every legal entry they have to put the mark of negativity upon me. I close such portal in the name of Jesus, Father. Ah, by your blood, neutralize every legal ground the enemy has against my life, against my children, against my husband. In the name of Jesus, Father, neutralize it by your mercy. Every legal ground the enemy has against me. Father, Lord, rescue me from such in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we neutralize such in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bring such to an end in the name of Jesus. I am rescued from the power of darkness today in the name of Jesus. Every loophole the enemy has into my life, I close it today with the blood of Jesus. Every loophole the enemy has into my life, I close it with the blood of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. We're going to pray, Father. Every satanic mark in my body, soul, and spirit be erased now in the name of Jesus. Every satanic 
satanic mark upon my body, spirit, and soul be erased now in the name of Jesus. Every satanic mark that has been put in my life, that has been put upon my body, I remove it now in the name of Jesus. Every satanic mark put upon my life, put upon my children's life, I remove it now in the name of Jesus. Every satanic mark put upon my husband's life, I remove you now in the name of Jesus. I remove you now in the name of Jesus. I wipe it clean with the blood of Jesus. I wipe it clean with the blood of Jesus. Every satanic mark upon my life, upon my body, upon my children's life, upon my husband's life, I wipe it clean now with the blood of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. In Revelation 21, 4, the Bible says, And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Evil marks come to bring sorrow, come to bring pain, come to bring tears. And God has said in his word, he said he has wiped it away. An end has come to their oppressions in our life. We're going to pray, Father, every circle of sorrow and tears in my life, as a result of evil marks, be broken right now in the name of Jesus. Every circle of sorrow and tears in my life, every circle of disappointment, every circle of failure in my life and family, as a result of negative mark, as a result of satanic marks in my body, I will be removed today in the name of Jesus. Be broken today in the name of Jesus. Every circle of negative marks in my life. Every circle of sorrow and tears, every circle of stagnancy, every circle of delay, every circle of pain in my life as a result of evil mass, I'll be broken today. Such circle is broken today in the name of Jesus. An end is come to such circle in the name of Jesus. An end is come to such in my life today in the name of Jesus. Every circle of pain, every circle of sorrow and tears, ah, every circle of disappointment and pain in my life as a result of evil marks, I bring them to an end today in the name of Jesus. I bring them to an end today in the name of Jesus. I bring them to an end today in the name of Jesus. I bring them to an end today in the name of Jesus. In whichever way our ah, evil mark has been reflecting in my life. The effect of evil marks upon my life. I remove them today by the mercy of the Lord. I remove the mark. I remove his effect in the name of Jesus. Oh, the Lord has wiped away my tears. I decree there shall be no more death. There shall be no more sorrow. There shall be no more crying in the name of Jesus. The hand of the Lord has wiped away every tears from my eyes. There shall be no more crying. There shall be no more sorrow. There shall be no more death in the name of Jesus. There shall be no more pain in the name of Jesus. There shall be no more trouble. In the name of Jesus, oh, in the mighty name of Jesus, according to the word of the Lord, ah, the reign of death has come to an end. The reign of trouble in my life has come to an end. The reign of disappointment has come to an end. The reign of pain and sorrow has come to an end because the hand of the Lord has wiped it away. He has wiped away evil marks and his effect upon my life, upon my husband, upon my children. Ah, he has wiped it away by his mercy. For in Jesus' name we pray. In the Bible, Jabez was one of those that had the evil mark upon him because his mother gave him a name, caused him because of the pain she was going through. But in the book of First Chronicles, chapter 4, verse 9 to 10, the Bible says, Jabez called upon the Lord and he, he became more honorable than all his brethren. So he was created to be more honorable, he was created to be a great man, but the mark upon his name. The cause upon his life limited him. We're going to pray. Father, you answer Jabez. In First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 to 10, if my name is attracting evil to me, oh God, give me a new name. Ah, the word of the Lord says, I will give you a new name, which the mouth of the Lord shall call. Father Lord, if my name is attracting evil to me, is my if my name is a source of negativity, oh Father, in your mercy, give me a new name in the name of Jesus. Father, give me a new name by your mercy. Father, give me a new name by your mercy. Father, if my name is a source of my trouble, if my name is attracting evil to me, give me a new name, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, give me a new name. Give me a new name, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, give me a new name by your mercy. Give me a new name by your mercy, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, give me a new name, in the name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, give me a new name, in the name of Jesus, Father. Change my name, Father. Change my name, oh Lord. Change my name, oh Lord, in the name 
name of Jesus, Father, bring an end to negativity upon my life. In the name of Jesus, Father, bring an end, Lord, to evil marks upon my life. In the name of Jesus, every limitation that has been caused through my name. Father, Lord, let it come to an end today. In the name of Jesus, Father, give me a new name, which only your mouth has declared. Father, give me a new name by your mercy. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. We're going to pray, Father. Every mark of receiving and losing, every mark of wastage, working against my life, be erased right now in the name of Jesus, Father. I pray every mark of receiving and losing, every mark of wastage upon my life, I say be destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. Be erased right now in the name of Jesus. Every mark of losing, every mark of wastage upon my life, every mark that has made it difficult for me to be able to gather and excel in life, I declare decree father oh bring them to an end right now in the name of jesus father oh erase them right now in the name of jesus father erase such mark in the name of jesus the word of the lord has said in isaiah 65 verse 21 to 23 they shall build houses and inhabit them they shall plant vineyards and eat their fruit they shall not build and another inhabit they shall not plant and another eat for as the days of a tree so shall the days of my people and my elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands the word of the lord has said when we sow a seed, we shall harvest it. When we build a house, we shall live in it. We are going to pray. Father, according to your word, Lord, henceforth, I begin to enjoy the fruit of my labor. I say no more wastage in my life in the name of Jesus. No more wastage in the name of Jesus. According to your word, I will long enjoy the fruit of my labor in the name of Jesus. No one will take my place when my harvest is ripe. No one will take my place when my harvest is ripe. I will not labor for others to enjoy. I will not labor for others to enjoy. My husband will not labor for others to enjoy. My children shall not labor for others to enjoy. In the name of Jesus Father, we shall not labor for others to enjoy. By your mercy, O Lord, we shall not labor for others to enjoy. In the name of Jesus Father, you will help us, O Lord, to enjoy the fruit of our labor. In the name of Jesus, your word has said, we shall not labor in vain. We shall not bring forth children doomed for misfortune. In the name of Jesus, for we shall be the descendants of the blessed of the Lord and our offspring with us. Father, we decree, Lord, according to your word, we shall long enjoy the work of our hands. We shall not labor in vain. In the name of Jesus, my husband shall not labor in vain. My children shall not labor in vain. In the name of Jesus, my family shall not labor in vain. In our career, physically, in our ministry, we shall not labor in vain. We shall not labor for others to enjoy. When we build house, we will inhabit in it. When we plant vineyard, we shall eat from it. It. The Bible says the husbandman is the first partaker of the fruit thereof. Oh, Father, we will be the first to enjoy the fruit of our labor. We will be the first to enjoy the harvest of our seed in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for in Jesus' name we've prayed. We're going to pray. You power of incision or tribal max working against my destiny be destroyed now by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every power of incision or tribal max that is working against me, I say be destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Many of us, when we were children, they put some incision on our body. They put some tribal marks in some countries on our faces or any part of our body for identification. Yes, it is for identification. But in the spiritual realm, it is much more than that. Because many times when they are putting such marks, they are calling some God. God. They are calling some ancestors and they have given them access into our life. Today we are going to pray, Father, every power of incision of or tribal mats working against my destiny be destroyed now by the power in the blood of Jesus. I neutralize your power now by the blood of Jesus. I neutralize every power of incision and tribal mats upon my body. I neutralize you with the blood of Jesus. Ah, the blood of Jesus neutralize. Every power of incision, every power of tribal mass that is working against my life, the blood of Jesus cleanse me free from them. The blood of Jesus purify me from such. In the name of Jesus, I decree you power of incision or tribal mass working against my destiny be destroyed now by the power in the blood of Jesus. Be destroyed now by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every power of incision or tribal mass, every power, oh, 
that has gained access into my life through tribal marks and incision. I seize your work right now. I seize your work right now. I seize your work right now. In the name of Jesus, I renounce your power. I renounce your rule in my life, in my husband's life, in my children's life. I renounce your rule and I decree I belong to Jesus and Jesus only. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. We're going to pray. Father, let your wind blow away. Every power chasing away good thing from me in the name of Jesus, Father. Let your wind blow away. Every power chasing good things from me. Every mark of evil that is chasing good things from me. Father, let your wind blow them away today in the name of Jesus. Every power of stagnancy. Every generational power that is chasing good things away from me. Father, let your wind blow them away. In the name of Jesus. Let your wind blow them away. In the name of Jesus. Every power that is blowing away, that is chasing away good news from me. Every power that is chasing away my promotion and opportunity. Father, I decree in your mercy. Let your wind blow them away. Let your wind blow them away. Let your wind blow them away. In the name of Jesus. Ah, Father, every power antagonizing your blessing in my life. I paralyze them today in the name of Jesus. I paralyze every power. I paralyze every power that is antagonizing your will in my life. Antagonizing your move in my life. Antagonizing your blessing in my life. I paralyze them today in the name of Jesus. I paralyze them today. I bring their oppression to an end. I render them powerless in the name of Jesus. Every power antagonizing your move in my life. Antagonizing your will in my life, antagonizing your blessing and open doors in my life. I paralyze them in the name of Jesus. I render them powerless in the name of Jesus. I strip them of the power they are using to torment me. I strip them of the power they are using to torment me and I declare them powerless today. For in Jesus' name we pray. As we read in Galatians 6 17, it says, From now on, let no one trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. We're going to pray. Father, from now on, let no one trouble me for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Father I declare from now on let no one trouble me let no man trouble me let no woman trouble me for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus ah Father from now let no one trouble my husband let no one trouble my children let no one trouble our business let no one trouble our ministry for we bear in our body the marks of the Lord Jesus Father we decree from now on. No one shall trouble us in the name of Jesus. When we go out, when we come in, no one shall trouble us, for we bear in our body the marks of the Lord Jesus. Father, we decree from now on, let no one trouble us, for we bear in our body the marks of the Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, the mark of the Lord Jesus neutralizes every other marks upon my body. The mark of the Lord Jesus, it neutralizes every negative mark, every evil mark, every mark of untimely death. Every mark of trouble, the mark of the Lord Jesus neutralize them. Every mark of poverty, the mark of the Lord Jesus neutralize them. Every mark of failure, the mark of the Lord Jesus neutralize them. And I decree, let no one trouble me. Let no man trouble me. Let no man trouble my husband and my children. Let no man trouble my family. Anyone that troubles me, Father Lord, judge them in the name of Jesus. Every power, every stubborn persuasive of our destiny that is adamant in trouble us that is adamant in causing us shame and sorrow oh father judge them today bring them to an end by your mercy bring their reign to an end by your mercy strip them of their power father strip them of their power today in the name of jesus render them powerless by your mercy render them powerless today in the name of jesus for in jesus name we have prayed we're going to pray father let my glory reject every form of satanic manipulation evil exchange or evil transfer in jesus name. Oh, Father, my glory reject every form of satanic manipulation, evil exchange, or evil transfer in the name of Jesus, Father. I decree, Lord, let my glory reject every form of satanic manipulation, evil exchange, or evil transfer in the name of Jesus, Father. Oh, my life reject it. My destiny reject it. My husband's life and destiny reject it. My children's life and destiny reject it. Upon my loved ones, I decree, Lord, our glory reject 
reject every form of satanic manipulation, every evil exchange and evil transfer. In the name of Jesus, our life reject it. We reject it in the name of Jesus. We reject it in the name of Jesus. Every satanic manipulation, we say no to you. In the name of Jesus, every form of evil exchange, we say no to you. Every form of evil transfer, we say no to you. In the name of Jesus, we say no to you. In the name of Jesus, ah, not my life, not my blood, not my destiny. I renounce evil transfer, evil exchange, or satanic manipulation over my life. And I decree not my life, not my blood, not my destiny, not my husband's life, not his blood, not his destiny. We reject it totally. We reject it today. Not upon our children, not their life, not their blood, not their destiny. We reject it in the name of Jesus. Ah, Father, we reject every form of satanic manipulation, evil exchange or evil transfer. In the name of Jesus, Father, we reject it by your mercy. We reject it by your mercy. We reject it by your mercy. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. We're going to pray, Father, your wind is blowing. Let the blood of Jesus that washes whiter than snow wash away every evil mark in my body. In the name of Jesus, Father, as your wind is blowing, let the blood of Jesus that washes whiter than snow wash away every evil marks for my body. Every evil marks for my body, visible or non-visible, acquired or generational, let the blood of Jesus wash every evil marks for my body. In the name of Jesus, every evil marks for my body every self-inflicted marks upon my body. Let the blood of Jesus wash them away. I am free of evil marks. I am free of incisions. I am free of any negativity. In the name of Jesus, I begin to walk in the glory the Lord has ordained for me. I begin to walk in the path the Lord has ordained for me. Everyone that sees me shall favor me. Like Esther, I be upon my body. I wear the cloak of glory. I wear the robe of favor. In the name of Jesus, I wear the robe of favor. I am marked for glory. I am marked for favor. I am marked for success. My husband and children are marked for success. My family is marked for breakthrough. Everyone that sees us shall bless us. Everyone that sees us shall go out of their way to do us good. In the name of Jesus, the mark upon us calls for people to begin to help us. In the name of Jesus, oh, the mark of the Lord upon us attract good to us. We attract goodness. We attract goodness. We we attract blessings. We attract favor. We attract breakthrough. We attract help from the north, the south, the east, and the west. In the name of Jesus, people begin to speak in our favor. In the name of Jesus. And every voice of negativity is silenced now and forever. In Jesus' name. Finally, I want us to pray. Father, I receive the grace not to do anything that will attract evil marks upon my body again in Jesus' name. Father, I receive the grace, Lord, not to do anything, any evil that will attract evil marks upon my body. Father, Lord, help me, Lord, not to go into sin. Help me not to walk in disobedience, that we attract evil mark upon my body again. In the name of Jesus, Father, help me not to fall, Lord, into deception. Help my husband and my children not to fall into any seduction and deception of the kingdom of darkness. Ah, Father, that we make the mark of evil to come back upon us. Yeah, Father, deliver us from such in the name of Jesus. Father, deliver us from such temptation from such seduction. Father, that we make us, Lord, be subjected to the evil mark again. In the name of Jesus, Father, deliver us by your mercy. Deliver us by your mercy. Give us a new heart. Give us a new spirit. Help us to stand firm in you. Thank you, Jesus, for you've done it. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. Father, we thank you for the grace to come to your presence once again. Thank you, Jesus, because you've opened as many of us that have any evil marks or we've seen their effect upon our life. You are opening our eyes now. Now. Father, so that we'll be able to pray according to knowledge in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because as many of us that have lived, that were living in sin, you have given us the grace to change and accept you as our Lord and Savior. And as from now, Father, we are in your kingdom. We bear your mark and not the mark of the devil in Jesus' name. We pray, oh Lord, that you will help us henceforth to walk in your will, to walk, Lord, according to your purpose, so that we 
will not subject ourselves to any evil and negative marks again in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for you've answered our prayers. Thank you for testimonies that we are bound. Thank you for open doors. Thank you, Lord, for great news. Thank you for positive news we are going to hear. Blessed be the name of the Lord. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Thank you, brethren, for praying with me once again. Please don't forget to like, to share, to comment, and to subscribe to this channel if this has blessed you. Have a blessed day ahead. Shalom.